All right, so solving this problem, uh, what I'm gonna do is take the conjugate of the, let me think here, the denominator. So what I end up with is one minus cosine theta on top and then one minus cosine theta. And then on the bottom, I get one plus cosine theta, one minus cosine theta. And so what I get is one minus cosine theta squared over one minus cosine squared theta. This converts to sine squared theta, so on top I'm going to foil that out. So I get 1 minus 2 cosine theta. Um, let me think here for a second. Yeah. Um, and then plus cosine squared theta. And then down here I end up with a sine squared, squared theta. All right, so yeah, actually rewriting this. Um, what happens is you can rewrite this as uh, well, one over sine squared theta minus two um, cotangent theta plus cotangent squared theta because that's the cosine squared over sine squared, and this is the same thing as just saying cosecant theta minus cotangent theta squared. All right, that's it. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.